In today's video, Royal Caribbean's newest ship, Icon of the Seas, currently under construction at a shipyard in Finland. It's the first of a new class of ships for Royal Caribbean, taking the best features from their Quantum class ships, blending them with the best features from the Oasis class, and creating a ship with something for people of all ages, from families with children all the way up to old retired guys like me. Let me introduce myself. I'm Jim Zim. I've been on 57 cruises so far, including 59 days on Royal Caribbean ships. And my videos here on YouTube have had over 350 million views. Now, when I used that little video clip of the merry-go-round in my intro, I bet there were people who assumed that Icon of the Seas must just be another Oasis-class ship. Royal Caribbean has been making those since 2009, and there are five of them in service right now, and a sixth coming in 2024. They all have a merry-go-round in the boardwalk neighborhood at the back of the ship. Well, Icon of the Seas is not another Oasis-class ship. It's the first of an all-new class of ships for Royal Caribbean. And they've taken everything they've learned from all their previous ships and improved upon them in many ways for Icon of the Seas. They've also made the ship even bigger. Now, you probably know that with every Oasis-class ship that came out, they made each one a couple of inches or maybe a foot longer than the previous one so that with each new ship, they could claim that it was the world's largest. Well, no gimmicks this time. Icon of the Seas is legitimately larger than the Oasis class, both in length and not just by a foot or two, but also interior volume. And she also carries more passengers. She'll have 2,805 staterooms aboard. And at double occupancy, that would be 5,610 guests. But many of her staterooms are designed for families with four or even more people in one room. With every bed full, Icon of the Seas would hold 7,600 guests plus 2,350 crew members for a maximum of 9,950 people aboard. That's almost 700 more than the largest Oasis-class ship. Before I go any further, I want you to remember that Icon of the Seas is still under construction and not expected to be complete until the end of 2023 in time for the first paying passengers to step aboard in early 2024. So there are no actual photos or videos I can show you of the completed ship because it's not complete yet, but I've got these artist concept drawings and computer-generated images that were recently released by Royal Caribbean. And there are probably 20 or 30 different YouTubers using these same graphics in videos about Icon of the Seas right now. What I think is going to set this video apart from those others is that in addition to all those cool shots of the new ship, I want to show you some videos of existing Royal Caribbean ships so I can show you the roots of the ideas that they're going to be using on Icon of the Seas. And then we can talk about how they've taken those existing concepts from other ships and improved upon them for this new ship. So let's start by looking at one of my favorite Royal Caribbean ships, Anthem of the Seas. It has a great adults-only area at the front of the ship called the Solarium. And because this is up at the front of the ship at the very top, this would be a very windy place if it was out in the open air. So Royal Caribbean was smart to enclose this in a big glass dome, build in heating and cooling systems to keep it a comfortable temperature no matter what the weather is doing outside. And there's all these very comfortable loungers and day beds where you can relax. It's quiet, it's comfortable, it's adults only, a little slice of paradise. 
Now imagine if you took that wonderful solarium on the quantum class and blended it with the aqua theater that you'll find at the back of the Oasis class ships, where Olympic class athletes perform aerial acrobatics and perfect high dives into the deepest pool at sea. Combining these two ideas, you have the Aquadome on Icon of the Seas. During the day, it's a tranquil oasis, similar to the solarium, but with the addition of this amazing waterfall coming out of the ceiling. And then at night, it becomes a vibrant venue for a night out with aerial acrobatics and a water show, plus a restaurant and bars. That's the all-new Aquadome on Icon of the Seas. Next, I'll be telling you about one of the most fun parts of Icon of the Seas, Thrill Island, including the largest water park of any cruise ship on any cruise line. That's coming up right after this. For quite a long time, Royal Caribbean ships never had water slides. They had rock climbing walls, they had flow riders, but incredibly, it wasn't until 2016 that they finally refurbished one of their ships and added a water slide, the Tidal Wave Raft Slide on Liberty of the Seas. Other cruise lines have had water slides. Carnival has had them for a long time. Norwegian has had them, and Disney, too. The entire success of my YouTube channel really started with a video about a water slide. I happened to cruise on Carnival Spirit right after they installed the Green Thunder water slide. I made a video about it, which proceeded to go viral on YouTube. And that video got a lot of views, 96 million so far, and convinced me to keep making videos for YouTube. <laughs> Now, I've made hundreds of them, and 26 of my videos have gone on to get at least a million views each. But with their new ship, Icon of the Seas, Royal Caribbean has embraced water slides in a big way. Her water park is larger than on any other ship from any other cruise line. There are six different water slides on Icon of the Seas, including a vertical drop slide similar to Carnival's Green Thunder slide. This one's called Frightening Bolt, I'm assuming that's a play on words with the term lightning bolt. And this one is even taller than the Green Thunder, taller than the vertical drop slides on Norwegian and Disney. In fact, it's the tallest vertical drop slide at sea. That's just one of the six water slides in the Thrill Island neighborhood on Icon of the Seas. There's also the longest raft slide at sea, and this is a family ride for up to four riders per raft. This looks like a lot of fun. You'll also find dueling mat slides so you can race against friends or family members. And there's also going to be another free fall slide, but this will be the first open free fall slide instead of being fully enclosed. And it'll have a 65 degree incline. Another fun and somewhat scary feature in the Thrill Island neighborhood on Icon of the Seas is known as Crown's Edge. Part ropes course, part skywalk. The super scary part is that once you get out to the end of that platform, it drops out from under you and you're dangling there above the ocean water. There will also be a flow rider on Icon of the Seas, but they came up with a simple improvement. On all the other flow riders on Royal Caribbean ships, the flow rider faces back, so the person surfing has a view of the ocean. But when you shoot a photo or a video of someone on the flow rider, the ocean is behind and out of view of the camera. On Icon of the Seas, they've flipped the flow rider around 180 degrees so that 
In all photos and videos of people surfing the Flowrider, the camera can catch the ocean in the background, too. Before I go any further, I want to just mention that even though Icon of the Seas won't be going into service until January of 2024, they did just recently start accepting bookings. So if you're interested in booking a cruise on Icon of the Seas or any cruise ship from any of the cruise lines, I want to offer you the services of my travel agent, Caitlin Gallagher. She recently went through extensive training all about Icon of the Seas, so she is fully knowledgeable of the various types of cabins that you'll have to decide between, and she knows the answers to all those questions you're probably going to have. So the smart move is to work with Caitlin when you're ready to book a cruise. She'll help you avoid making any rookie mistakes, and she'll be the one stuck on hold with the cruise line, not you, if there are any complications. There are seven pools aboard Icon of the Seas, and four of them are in an area of the ship known as Chill Island. By the way, the largest cruise ship in the world will have the largest swimming pool on any ship on Earth. It's called the Royal Bay Pool. Another really brilliant idea that's new for this ship has its roots in Royal Caribbean's hugely popular private island, Coco Cay. At the Oasis Lagoon on Coco Cay, there's a swim-up bar that's been a big hit with cruisers. So, Icon of the Seas is going to be the first Royal Caribbean ship to get a swim-up bar. It'll be known as Swim and Tonic. And you can bet that's going to be a really popular place on a warm day in the Caribbean. If you like the vibe of a beach club with a DJ spinning tunes and a party atmosphere, you're going to want to hang out at The Hideaway. This neighborhood, 135 feet above the ocean, combines a beach club vibe and the uninterrupted ocean views only a cruise can offer. The first suspended infinity pool at sea is at the center of it all, and it's surrounded by a multi-level sun terrace with whirlpools, a variety of comfortable seating, and a dedicated bar. Now, I'm a senior citizen, so I'm not looking for a party scene when I'm enjoying a day on a cruise ship, and Icon of the Seas has plenty of quiet pool areas to choose from. There's Cloud 17, the adults-only pool deck, and also the Cove Pool, an infinity-edge pool with a serene atmosphere. For the affluent cruisers who can afford to book a suite, Icon of the Seas has a neighborhood of its own just for sweet guests. This is Royal's spin on the Haven on Norwegian Cruise Line and the Havana area on Carnival Cruise Line. On Icon of the Seas, the outdoor area for sweet guests is known as the Grove. It's three decks of luxury, including a two-floor sun deck featuring a private pool and whirlpool. Now, if you're going to be cruising as a family, bringing your kids along with you on the cruise, your family is going to absolutely love Icon of the Seas because with all the improvements that you'll notice on the ship compared to other ships in the Royal Caribbean fleet, they're really looking to make this one one of the best cruise ships in the world for families. And I'm not just talking about all the water slides we talked about already. There's also a neighborhood designed especially for families cruising with young children. If you've been on any of the Oasis-class ships, I'm sure you remember the neighborhood known as the Boardwalk. That's where they have the Merry-Go-Round and Johnny Rockets and the Aqua Theater. Well, on Icon of the Seas, that space is known as Surfside, and it's designed for families with young children. In addition to the carousel for kids, there will be a kid's water park, an arcade, dining option, a kid's club, 
a teens club, and a pool especially for families with young children. And that pool at the back of the ship will have great views of the ocean. By the way, so that mom and dad can enjoy some drinks while they hang out with the kids all day here at the pool, even though this area is specifically for kids, don't worry, it will feature a bar too. Speaking of bars and restaurants, Royal Caribbean hasn't announced yet what restaurants and bars will be coming to Icon of the Seas, but we do already know that the Lime and Coconut, a bar I really liked on some of the other Royal Caribbean ships I've sailed on, will be included on Icon of the Seas. In fact, the Lime and Coconut will have four locations around the ship. We have covered a lot of territory so far, but there's still more to tell you about Icon of the Seas, so stick around. I'll be right back. If you've sailed on any of the Oasis-class ships, no doubt you were impressed with Central Park, one of the most serene and wonderful smelling places I've ever seen on a cruise ship. Even though Icon of the Seas is not an Oasis-class ship, they did carry over the Central Park concept. But of course, they improved upon it, making it even more lush than on the Oasis-class and with 20% more trees. Another concept you'll be very familiar with from other Royal Caribbean ships is the Royal Promenade. And once again, they found a way to improve upon it. On previous ships, there were basically no windows in the Royal Promenade, but on Icon of the Seas, the Royal Promenade will have lots of outside light coming in from floor-to-ceiling windows, which will also offer one heck of a nice ocean view. Icon of the Seas will offer many cabins designed specifically for families, like this one, known as the Family Infinite Balcony. Look at this cool room outfitted with bunk beds for the kids. And the bathroom in this type of cabin is split so that if someone needs to use the toilet while someone else is taking a shower, it's no problem. For the ultra-affluent traveling with kids, there's the ultimate family townhouse. It's super expensive, but your family will never forget this three-story family space, which includes a slide to get you from the upstairs down to the living room. It's all set up for gaming for the kids, and of course, there's a fun bedroom for the kids and a luxurious bedroom for the parents. If you've made it this far into this very long video, I have to assume that you're enjoying it or finding it useful. If you'd like to help me continue creating quality travel videos for YouTube, please consider becoming one of my patrons. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help me continue doing what I'm doing here. It has gotten harder for me this year because there's been a dramatic decrease in the amount of advertising revenue that YouTube has been sending me, so I appreciate the help from my patrons. And in return, I offer a few perks. Patrons kicking in at least $4 a month get early access to my videos before my regular YouTube audience can see them. And the most popular perk is a personal video from me up to once a year on your birthday or any other special day you want it. Maybe you're familiar with the service called Cameo, where you can pay celebrities to make a personalized video message for you. Well, if you're a fan of my videos, you don't need Cameo to get a personal video from me. Just kick in $10 a month on Patreon and you've got it. Visit patreon.com slash jimzim to find out more. Icon of the Seas will be powered by liquefied natural gas. These are the actual LNG tanks as they were being installed in the ship. LNG is, of course, the cleanest burning marine fuel, much more environmentally friendly than cruise ships that burn diesel oil. Also, Icon of the Seas will be fully capable of plugging into shore power when it's in port so that it won't have to run its own generators at all when docked. This will be Royal Caribbean's most sustainable ship yet. 
Icon will sail year-round, seven-night Eastern and Western Caribbean vacations from Miami. And every cruise will visit Royal Caribbean's top-rated private island destination in the Bahamas, Perfect Day at Coco Cay, which offers a little something for everyone, no matter what your idea of the perfect vacation day is. Thrill seekers will love the 13 water slides on the island. If you're looking to relax, there's the Coco Beach Club, featuring the first overwater cabanas in the Bahamas. There's also the largest freshwater pool in the Caribbean, and plenty of places to just chill out and enjoy a beach day. And when Icon arrives, Royal Caribbean will debut something completely new at Coco Cay, the island's adults-only oasis, Hideaway Beach. I don't yet have any images of what it'll look like, but I do know that there will be an expansive pool and private cabanas with their own pools. With each new ship, Royal Caribbean raises the bar in the cruise industry. Icon of the Seas sure looks to me like it's going to take things to a whole new level. More details about the ship will be released in the coming months, and she'll be welcoming passengers starting in January of 2024. The best cabins will book first, so make your reservations soon. I'm Jim Zim. Thanks for watching.